Hello, everybody. This is Julie Divill. I am a Christian speaker and author. I am here for the Advent video series for Ignite Women, and I am so glad you are here. I have a gift for you. His name is Jesus, and he gives us so much every day. It We just cannot... <laughs> not discuss him <laughs> and not give him time and space and honor in our lives. So today is about Jesus and we're going to talk also about how to share that gift. How to share that gift. I am in the book of John in my home office here. You see my twinkly lights. I am in the book of John and I'm in chapter one. I'm going to start in verse 10 and let me do that. He came into the very world he created, but the world didn't recognize him. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. I want to take a moment and testify to the absolute power of Jesus. That I walked this earth for 40 plus years and did not know him. If somebody had put a picture of Jesus in front of me, I would have wondered what their purpose was, why they were doing that. Um, in fact, uh, in my 40th year, after I had met my disciple, I brought myself to church Christmas Eve. I was seeking, I was looking, I sat in the back. I listened to the Christmas songs that were familiar to me my whole life. Silent Night, Joy to the World, O Come All Ye Faithful. And I cried that night, that first night in the church. God was working to let me know I was where I needed to be, to let me know that things would change. It was weird listening to the songs that were familiar, but something was different about them. And here I am almost seven years later, and I love Jesus. So the power of him to change hearts exists in this world today. And certainly the power of his love affects us each day. John 1.12 says, But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. So the minute that you're accepting of him and believing in him, you are welcome to be a daughter to God. You suddenly have all these brothers and sisters who care about you because they love and honor God. Being part of God's family has daily gifts that are in abundance. Um, in John 1 14, it says, so the word talking about Jesus. So the word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a mom. I am a wife. I am a friend and my love for those in my life is not perfect. I get selfish, I get grumpy pants, and I run on empty sometimes. The unfailing love of Jesus is so big, we cannot even imagine it. We can't find a beginning for it, and certainly we can't find an end for it. It covers all our sins, past, present, and future. It fills in the cracks. You know, we all are have cracks where we mess up. Places that weren't fed and nourished as, as younger people. Each day, each time... We seek him. He's there. 
each time we pray, he is there. Each time we say the name Jesus, he is there. He is faithful and full of unfailing love. And when one receives a gift like that every day and you're over full and overly loved, you just have to share it. There's three things we're going to talk about in terms of sharing the gift of Jesus. I believe <laughs> I was not the last one or the only one in her 40s or maybe 50s, 60s, or 70s that did not know Jesus or 20s, 10s. I mean, there are people still in this world that even with the internet, the availability of Bibles, just don't understand what we're talking about here. And so, I want to share it and I'm hoping that when we talk about this, you will be filled with ideas on how to share the gift of Jesus. The first thing, the first thing is pray. And pray for Jesus to give you a name of someone specific, perhaps, that you're supposed to build a relationship with and reach out and walk with. Or pray for him to just bring people into your path. If you know you're going to be traveling this holiday season, maybe there's an overwhelmed mom at the uh, rest stop who needs help getting her children into the car. Or maybe there's um, somebody sitting alone somewhere. Maybe it's church or a restaurant. Or I've seen folks sitting alone in movies. And, and you know, maybe that's by choice, but... Maybe not. So prayer. The next thing is talking directly about Jesus to others. As directly to others as you talk to him yourself. So for the strangers that have been in my path. Oh yes, I can testify that when you pray. <laughs> they <laughs> For, for God to put them there, they do, they do appear. <laughs> and so um, I'm going to tell you a story because I learned from it. So my husband and I love Mexican food. And I went to pick up our takeout one night. And this nice young man rung me out. As I paid for my food, he talked a lot about just moving to the area. He talked about a young daughter, and that was the reason he moved to the area. He was obviously in a lot of turmoil. So after he was done talking and after my food had cooled off quite a bit, I asked, may I pray for you? And he said, oh yeah, I mean, I used to go to church. And so that was kind of um, cute, but all I wanted to do was pray for him. But really, since that time, I encounter people, I do ask, do you know Jesus? Because what I learned is, if, if, he had, if I had asked him, do you know Jesus? And he said, yes, the prayer is so much different. Right? When you're praying in agreement. So... That is my recommendation. Just know up front with people if they know him and then your work from there is different depending on the answer. And the third thing, we have pray, we have talk directly about Jesus to others. And the third thing is think outside the box and pray again. So that's but it's all in three. There's not four. <laughs> pray all the time anyway. But thinking outside the box and pray uh, with prayer gives you so many ways to connect with people that you might not have thought of just on your own. With what I call my earthly brain, that it probably wouldn't come up with all unless I had help from Jesus. 
because we are just the vessels. We are just sometimes, you know, the hands and the feet. But it is God and Jesus who get in there and work on the hearts and nourish souls. So the more interesting things you can do to get people's attention. And unfortunately, in today's society, with so many TV shows and so many blogs and so many radio commercials, it is sort of necessary to get people's attention when doing uh, kingdom work. Um, I want to end this video and say, if anyone listening does not know Jesus, and more specifically, if you do not know the love of Jesus, if you haven't felt that, please, please reach out. Um, there's many, many Christian speakers that will be doing these Advent videos. I am one of them. Um, on my blog, I think you would be able to find my email and ask. There are local churches that have pastors. There are friends that maybe could connect you. And of course, you don't have to go too far. Um, even libraries will have a Bible. And if you haven't read the Bible yet, start in the New Testament with Matthew and that's where you'll meet Jesus so I am going to end with prayer and I wish everybody a wonderful wonderful Christmas filled with the gift of Jesus dear Heavenly Father dear our one and only Savior I pray Lord you will take my words your words the glory to you and sail it to whomever hearts need to hear it. Lord, you know hearts. You know us. Please help us see those who need you. Please help us reach those who need you. And Lord, we lay the rest at your feet. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.